Inglewood Park Cemetery introduces four new works of art, 106 years in the making. These new stained glass windows are displayed within historic Inglewood Mausoleum. This project began with an examination of Inglewood Mausoleum, and there was a beautiful display of uh, Judson stained glass windows in the building with the exception of four double windows close to the front of the building, uh, which were just plain glass. And uh, we felt like that uh, it might be an opportunity to enhance uh, the aesthetic uh, of Inglewood Mausoleum uh, by adding stained glass windows in, the, in uh, the, those spaces. I came down and, and uh, we did a walk through of the mausoleum and uh, looked at the original windows that were done in 1914 and, and um, so uh, we really wanted to kind of do something that um, respected these windows, these existi existing windows in the space. We talked to initially about kind of replicating the design and the style of the windows. The more we got to thinking about it and talking about it, I thought, well, why don't we do something that's kind of 21st century, something that kind of speaks to today. And so I um, asked California Art Club to get involved, which are contemporary plein air painters, which was a great tie-in with my uh, great-great-grandfather, who was one of the first plein air painters here in California. The technique of, of glass fusing or fused glass is fairly new. It's not something that's been traditionally used in stained glass. But what we love about it is the fact that you can combine any group of colors together, uh, put them in a kiln and fuse them together as one piece. And so while traditionally uh, stained glass has so many constraints in terms of the, the color of the glass, uh, uh, the size of the glass, we can create pieces of glass that are four by eight feet you know, which are just limited by the size of the kilns that we have in our studio. And so um, this opportunity to combine uh, the traditional techniques that we use and have used, you know, have been used for thousands of years uh, are now uh, being interpreted into something that is uh, a totally new technique that we can now create works of art that have never really been seen before. I thought it was a great opportunity for us to, to bridge a history of glass, uh, of stained glass on our property. You know, we, we have uh, traditional stained glass installations at uh, Mausoleum the Golden West and other locations, but this uh, allowed us to really take innovations of stained glass that have recently been developed to another level and incorporate those into uh, some of our displays here. I love the way the light kind of comes off of the walls and on the floor. It has such a glow about it because of the light yeah. coming in from the south. Yeah, this one's definitely kind of the, the, the warmest colors and the, and the most brilliant colors in a way, even mm -hmm. though they're a little more contrasting with the purple and the amber, but I think we really wanted to see this one on the south side because of how much light it emanated you know, yep. and how much yep. uh, it really kind of played into that. Um, and what's so great about like even these branches up in here, is that these were all pre-made material. And so we take the frit and we kind of uh, dump it into the kiln and fire it. And it gives us these kind of wonderful edges mm -hmm. um, that you know, kind of almost look like branches, right? The ends mm -hmm. of the branches. We fire that and then um, that's applied onto the glass. And so these, these you know, there's, there's almost a construction element of these that you have to kind of determine how these are put together part by part, by part piece by piece. And even these elements here are pre-made and then assembled together. And when you see it before it goes into the kiln, it's almost like an inch and a half of glass. And so there's all of this glass that's dumped onto it and you really don't know what it's going to look like until it comes out of the kiln. <laughs> if, you, if you look back um, over the decades, over centuries of the role that art plays, um, in uh, the edification of houses of worship, 
uh, and in cemeteries and so forth. I think it really speaks to uh, the creative nature of human beings and uh, the elevation of uh, hope. So uh, I think it has a, a wonderful place uh, within our cemeteries. And I'm very excited to um, see how people respond to this uh, as they come in and, and see these different windows in this different location. Um, I think that is something that um, I think will be a, a part of the legacy here at Englewood. For a very limited number of families wishing to honor loved ones most uniquely, a custom memorial plaque can be set next to one of the new windows.